We have some news just coming in. This is an India Today exclusive. Aftab has been caught on camera on the 18th of October. Caught on CCTV footage. This is an Aaj Tak India Today exclusive. How? At midnight, Aftab, in fact, used to step out of his home. In the CCTV footage, we can see Aftab with a backpack and a box in hand. Video from 4.30, 4 o'clock, in fact, which is in the wee hours. It is 4 o'clock, 4 a.m., essentially. Delhi police sources have revealed to India Today Aaj Tak that Aftab used to carry a backpack to dispose body parts. CCTV essentially matches the description. Shreya Chatterjee getting us that big exclusive story. She's joining us from Aftab's residence. Shreya, you have access to this exclusively for our viewers. This is at 4 o'clock in the wee hours of the morning. What business does this man have? to roam around at 4 o'clock in the morning. This obviously sort of corroborates what we've been talking about so far, that indeed in the wee hours, he used to step out with the body parts and throw them around. Well, absolutely, so Sneha, this particular video that India Today and Ajitak is exclusively accessed somewhere down the line corroborates the fact that this man was indeed stepping out at the wee hours. And this somewhere down the line corroborates those verbal confessions made by Aftab to Delhi police till now that he used to one by one dispose the body parts of Shadra from this very house. Remember, this video that we have accessed is very close to this particular residence of Aftab. And in the video, it is clear, it is clear how Aftab is carrying a backpack, he has a box in his hand, and this somewhere down the line is something that Delhi police would obviously investigate. Now, uh, I want to tell our viewers that this is the residence from where I am right now, where Aftab also used to live with Shraddha. It was unearthed uh, by Delhi police that on the 18th of May, he killed her, chopped off her body parts, and then one by one started disposing. Now, this CCTV is from the 18th of October that we have exclusively accessed and this clearly somewhere down the line gives the picture of whatever has been given in that verbal confession so far. He can be very clearly seen with a backpack and a box in hand which is clear evidence that this man was out at the wee hours. What business did they have? Obviously this will be investigated. These will be pieces of evidence uh, uh, which the Delhi police would obviously use to build a case against Aftab which now clearly shows and we have got this for our viewers which tells the story of how this man was actually planning and meticulously also uh, erasing the crime scene one by one. Well, absolutely, erasing the crime scene. What else has the police told you? In fact, Shreya, about this video and there would be, I presume, quite a few of them given that the body parts were disposed of over a period of time, isn't it? Well, absolutely. Uh, if, you, if you break down the timelines, Neha, why is it important? Because the murder happened on the 18th of May. Followed by that, one by one, uh, he con constantly disposed the body parts. The reason, you know, he remember bought a fridge on the 19th of May itself. He stored the body parts of Shraddha there and one by one. So if you see the video, the body language also of Aftab, it clearly says, you know, he is so uh, sure about the way uh, he is uh, doing this crime, the way he is disposing of uh, the body part. This clearly, somewhere down the line, also gives a window to the mind of Aftab, how uh, he is so uh, cool, he is not uh, freaking out. It, it doesn't look like someone who uh, probably did not have a previous criminal record. Record. But clearly right now, uh, this is a clincher piece of evidence that India Today and Archduck has exclusively accessed, which tells the story behind how this murder was not only done, but the forward planning of cleaning the crime scene. This is something that tells the story of Aftab Punewala, the kind of man he was and the way he was actually removing the evidence one by one. Well, absolutely. And the body language, Rhea, from those pictures that we put out for our viewers, Walks coolly, calmly. It's unbelievable. If you were just to give me this video, and uh, you know, it'd be very tough to get a sense of what this man really was up to. There's a backpack, there's a box he's carrying, appears to be absolutely calm at 4 a.m.
Well, absolutely. And you know, this also matches the fact that he was indeed going out at midnight. He was not doing it uh, at an hour when there was any kind of public. If you see the entire video, you wouldn't see anyone else also in the video. So definitely it's a time when people are usually not moving around. There's no hustle and bustle. There's the quiet of the night and that's the time that this man was choosing. These were also told to Delhi police in the verbal confession. Remember, it's so important because Delhi police is obviously on their toes trying to gather every little piece of evidence right now and uh, it's so crucial to tell the entire story because even while the Delhi police is obviously trying to stitch the puzzle together they want to make it a very strong case that would st uh, that would stand the judicial inquiry these technical evidences followed by scientific evidence and obviously uh, remember those bones and the dismembered body parts that they are recovering from the forest which will obviously be matched with DNA analysis will make it a strong case for the Delhi police to try after Punewala it is extremely important for Delhi police and you know we also learned earlier the Delhi police was mapping the CCTV based on such uh, instances these CCTVs which have caught Aftab on camera at the wee hours Delhi police has been mapping the entire CCTV area right now to identify that what was the route he is taking what time he was coming out and what time he was disposing of so these are crucial piece of uh, evidence that the Delhi police is obviously uh, uh, tracking down and they will obviously be using it against after Punewala for the case that they are building for Shraddha Walker's murder. But this video that we bring exclusively on Ashtag India today tells the story of Aftar Punewala, how this man was calm, he was not freaking out. At wee hours, he was choosing a particular time to come out. And that's something that tells and gives the mindset. Remember, that's one of the reasons why the Delhi police is also taking assistance from psychologists to study the mind of Aftar Punewala. Clearly, um, this is one of those key pieces of evidence that we're putting out before our viewers that will obviously also uh, be crucial as Delhi police, I again mentioned, is mapping the entire area from this house till the Meheroli uh, forest because it's a barely 650 meters distance from this house that we right now have on our screens that Aftab used to travel every night during the wee hours after killing Shraddha to dispose of the body parts, Neha. Shreya, with that exclusive story, I'm thanking you for the moment. Shira, in fact, has got us those videos, that CCTV footage that we've just put out for our viewers. It shows after walking coolly, he's all calm. This at 4 a.m. on the 18th of October with a box that he's holding and with a backpack. Of course, this is going to offer many clues as to what this man really was up to.